Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 4 Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we did yet another filler map as our uh, quest for the uh, Forbidden Chamber continues. <laughs> Had to figure out my words there for a little bit. In this episode, we are going to get right to it. Lord, a mere pretty instructor must fulfill a certain requirement in order to access the Forbidden Chamber. And here it is, the one obstacle that is common to every instance of Chapter 3 in any Disgaea. Stricter security, huh? There must be one hell of a demon in there. So, what would that requirement be? You must be equipped with an item that is level 10 or higher. The Item World! You will have to go to the Item World in order to improve an item to such a level. The item world of a higher ranked item will be filled with stronger enemies. Compared to your power level when you used to be a tyrant, the item world of a common sword should be the most suitable for you. Explicit Disgaea 1 references. Heck yeah. <laughs> Say as you wish. Fine. To the item world of a common sword. Lord Val, here are some unpretentious gifts from myself to you. Common sword and a Mr. Gensi exit. Mr. Gensi exit lets you escape from the item world in an emergency, and it lets you start at the same floor. You can get one every ten floors by killing all the enemies on the boss floor, and uh, you can also escape from the tenth floor without having to use a Mr. Gensi exit. That being said, standard names, standard abilities. <laughs> this is a unique item that uh, I'm pretty sure you won't be able to find in other places. In fact, if we take it to the data shop, You'll see that the common sword, in fact, is not even available as a, as a rare or legendary item. Just common. <laughs> so yeah. We got every form of an item, guys! Aren't we proud of ourselves? That being said, let's head for the item world. The ladder for hardcore character training. We got five Mr. Gensi exits. Let's uh, let's put these away. We don't need them. All right, let's go. Item world. We can also uh, put our innocence in the innocent warehouse. What are innocents? Who cares? <laughs> But yeah, we can't do that yet, because uh, everybody is angry at us. Actually, didn't I already go over in what innocents were in one of the really early episodes? Like, back when I was discussing a shop. Anyway... Uh, in the item world, you can interact with innocence even more. In the item world, every floor you clear, the item will level up and the enemies will get stronger. To get out, you must either progress 10 floors or use a Mr. Gensi exit. Every 5 floors, there will be root gates, mystery rooms, innocent towns, sometimes even pirates. Plenty of things happen in the item world. Please try it out. This is it. So yeah, we can see here that uh, we've got a bunch of level 2 enemies to deal with. Which is why we are not even going to bother. Uh... Here I come. <coughs> Clearing these floors the proper way. It's just not worth our time. Here 
Your objective on each floor is either to clear clear out all of the enemies or reach this red gate here. When you do that, the next stage comes. Appoint Financial Minister Bill. Just trying to uh, listen to what music we have here. This is uh, this is something we've heard in chapter one. That's something. Now, on occasion, you will end up with a uh, floor with a gatekeeper guarding the uh, dimensional gate. This is an immobile unit that uh, exists purely to annoy you. If you have a fist user with a lot of move, on the other hand. Uh, You tend to not be quite as bad. Also, watch out for ally move damage panels. Uh, they can really catch you off guard. <laughs> you do a very tiny amount of damage, but considering how huge the item world is, you really want to watch out. As you can see, Valvatoras just took like 60 damage there for various reasons. That is a mystery gate. It takes you to a uh, very strange area where just about anything could happen. As a demonstration of this, I am going to toss Fenric over there. And also create a train station, just because. Just to prove that it can happen in the item world. Alright, so. Let's head for the mystery room. This looks to be a, uh, a shady bar type area. Yeah, it's the rip-off bar. Can pay money in exchange to... Uh, Exchange for a bit of bonus gauge. We are not going to do that. <laughs> for one thing, it's sketchy as all get out, and for another thing, I don't need bonus gauge. Meet the innocent! If we beat him up, his, uh, his effective level uh, doubles. That means his effect on the item doubles as well. Plus, we can now uh, move him into the Innocent Warehouse and uh, send him to another item, if we so choose. Take this. Yeah, ha. Perish. Can you take all of my attacks? Here I come! Having heavy knights for uh, for grandiose throwing capacity is also pretty beneficial here. Take this. Grandiose throwing capacity. Like, what do those three words even mean together? <laughs> this is a. Uh, Invincible Mushroom. Ooh, that's handy. Here I come. Welcome to level 5 of the item world. Two gates appear every five levels. You can choose your path. In the item leveling route, there's a higher chance of level spheres and item improvement rooms appearing. In the Innocent Improvement route, you get more events that power up Innocence, as well as a higher spawn rate of Wild Innocence. I also have a, have a Mystery Gate here for some reason. I shall re-educate you! Your back is wide open. Sardines! Yeah! What is this? 
Oh, it's a, it's the, <laughs> it's the, uh, this is where we vote. Alright, we got a rare item, and uh, I do not want to disturb these guys because they're all very powerful. So we are just going to return to the item world. <laughs> And we are going to take the item improvement route. Now, if you alternate between gates, um, if you alternate between gates, you can also get a third bonus called the treasure route. Anyway. This is a level sphere. If you pick it up and then clear the level, and the item will improve a little bit. So let's get rid of this gatekeeper. Pick things up like so, and hope that Rutile can. Dang it, Rutile! All right, this is fine. We'll just do that. So yeah, green level spheres uh, level up an item by five levels. Yellow spheres level up ten levels. Red spheres level up fifteen levels. But yellow and red item spheres are pretty rare, so uh, don't expect to see too many of them. Also, the item le the level cap for a level in for an item in Disguise Four has moved up from Disguise Three. It is now three hundred. So watch out. You are going to want to get extremely lucky to max out your items in this game. <laughs> 